Today I want to talk a little bit about the fuel system of the PA44. I want to draw it and uh, connect up all the various pieces of equipment and see how it works. So, to start out with, the PA44 has two main tanks. We'll draw the main tanks here, and we'll draw a main tank here. The uh, left main and the right main. You may see this a little bit better if you full screen the video. After the main tanks, we've got a pair of selectors. We're going to draw the selectors right here, and we'll draw a selector right here. We'll connect up this uh, equipment uh, in a minute. I just want to get it out first. We've got the mains, we've got the selectors, we've also got a set of filters. Filter here, and a filter here. These are equivalent to the gas escalators on the Cirrus for our purposes. After the filters, we're going to add in an engine driven fuel pump. Uh, no, we're not. We've got to add in an auxiliary pump. We, gotta, we need one of those too. So we'll put in the engine driven fuel pumps here. We'll put in an auxiliary pump here. That's the boost pump. We've got boost pumps, we've got engine driven fuel pumps, and then we're going to need the engine itself. And we'll put the engine itself right here, the left engine, and here we'll put the right engine. So now we've got the main tanks, we've got the selectors, the filters, the auxiliary boost pumps, the engine driven fuel pumps, and the engines themselves. What we're going to do now is we're going to start connecting these up. Fuel flows from the main tanks to the selectors, from the selector to the filter, filters to the auxiliary boost pumps. From there it can go one of two ways. It can either continue on and go to the engine driven fuel pump, from there up through the carburetor and directly to the engine, or if not there it can go through the priming solenoid which is a secondary um, uh, route that the fuel can take for lack of a better term uh, primer The primer solenoid is just a valve, it's nothing else. It only allows fuel either in or out. Uh, there's no actual pressure being built up. The pressure is all from the auxiliary boost pump. From the primer solenoid valve, uh, you get prime on cylinders 1, 2, and 4, but not 3. And then over here, the same thing. Uh, fuel can flow to the primer, from the primer to cylinders 1, 2, and four, but not cylinder three. Cylinder three is used for uh, manifold pressure reading, which is why we don't prime cylinder three. All right, let's see. We need um, we need to put in the cross feed. Cross feed. Uh, we're going to do that in blue, and the cross feed is going to look something like this. We'll draw the cross feed line coming from here and we'll draw the other, and I'll do that in a different color, we'll draw the other cross feed line coming from here. Make it very visually distinctive. There we go. Fuel only flows uh, in one direction with the cross feed, and we'll get the blue and we'll do the same thing. Fuel flows there. Alright, so the selector determines where it's taking fuel from. If the selector We'll draw a selector here. See that this is a selector, and the selector is a three position selector. Position here, 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 here. Uh, we'll say that the left hand engine is in the on position. Uh, if the selector is in the on position, the selector is set like this it's taking fuel from its own tank and sending it on. 
if we set the selector to the crossfeed position, then the selector is going to be taking fuel from the crossfeed side. It won't be taking it from the main, it'll be taking it from the opposite side through the crossfeed and then up and on. If the selector happens to be in the off position, for example, uh, if you set it to off, then it's not taking fuel from anywhere. It's not taking fuel either from here or from here. We'll get rid of that though. The um, Finally, uh, let's see, I should have drawn that. If I had been smart, I should have drawn this over here. Maybe I can still fix that. Let's see if I can move this. Ah, uh, that didn't work. That's too bad. Uh, there we go. Okay, that worked. The reason I did that was because the heater also needs to be in here. We need to have a heater. And as the heater is a combustion heater, it requires fuel which means that we need to take fuel off from after the filter, send it through a heater fuel pump, and then onto the heater itself. So let's see, we've got the mains, we've got the selectors, we've got the filters, the aux pump, the engineer fuel pump, the engine itself, uh, we've got the cross feed system, we've got the heater system, we need a couple of drains. Uh, the filters, uh, that doesn't look very distinctive. Let's try green. No, we've already used green. I guess we'll use uh, I guess we'll use blue again. I really don't like that. All right, we're back to we're back to purple. All right, what we've drawn here is we've drawn two drains and these are the drains which are underneath the baggage compartment door uh, they drain from the filters that's the only place that they drain from finally uh, we can get some vents the right main is vented and the left main is vented and that's to prevent uh, vacuum lock in the fuel system so there's the PA44 fuel system we've got the mains which are vented We've got the selectors, we've got the cross-feed system, we've got the filters with their associated drains, we've got the heater fuel pump, the heater itself, we've got the two auxiliary boost pumps, we've got the engine room fuel pump, we've got the engine itself, we've also got a takeoff from here to the primer solenoid valve and the primers themselves. And that is the PA44 fuel system.